following the news both in France and the US over the last two years especially has gotten me very angry <laughs> um, and so for me it's really exciting to be able to vote for the first time in an EU parliament election ever. Um, I'm French-American, so I have dual citizenship with France and the U.S. I'm German, actually. Are you voting in the European elections? Uh, we are not this year because we're not in Belgium, which is our home country. Uh, so it's actually my first time voting in any EU election. I would like to take part in whatever I can, and if that's being part of the European elections, um, that's why I want to do it. As I'm from Spain, I have to go to Amsterdam to the embassy, the thing, and it's not something too easy to do. So, uh, yeah, I don't think I'll vote this time. I actually went to Amsterdam yesterday um, to go to the French consulate to um, register my mother to be able to vote for me because I'm not physically at the consulate in the US where I'm registered to vote as a French citizen. So it's a bit complicated. I, I think, think we so. had to register, but we know. didn't because we would like to vote in Belgium. I sent a letter to my municipality that I live somewhere else and I received my letter a few days after. Um, I made my cross and now I'm going to hand it in tomorrow in Germany. I'm out of politics for a bit. My country has enough troubles right now, so I'm more looking at that, at that stuff now. Belgian politics is also complicated to follow, so, yeah, so it's difficult for us. For me, the most important issue is climate action. As well as uh, Europe in itself, so just what is the future for Europe, that's what the elections are all about. So, Personally, I'm exhausted of politicians um, making decisions based on what's right for industry rather than what's right for citizens, and that's a big motivator in me voting.